Hi, this is 365801 and this is my 2021 manga collection tour video. So in April and May, probably about March as well, last year, I made a series of videos outlining my collection that I keep in drawers. So I thought I would do an updated version just because I have added a few things to my collection and rearranged my drawers several times. So I thought I would just do a bit of an update. So this is my um, updated 2021 collection tour. Uh, this first drawer is kind of full of miscellaneous things that I have purchased um, from charity shops, things I've bought online, uh, things that I've just picked up randomly on sales, um, and many of them um, are things that I haven't actually read. So uh, things like Sailor Moon, um, Hunter Hunter I have, and I've got Classroom, Assassination uh, Classroom, that was a gift. I bought uh, Prince of Tennis just up to volume 13. I do have volume 8, but I think someone borrowed it and they haven't returned it yet. Um, the Holic version there, <laughs> my I do have another one but in my other collection as well. Um, a couple of Maggie um, titles that I got volumes 18 and 22, one from a charity shop and one I think I got for three pounds in Waterstones on sale. Um, the Hel Helsing there I think is Italian, I th I'm not entirely sure but I got it in a charity shop. Uh, same as in Yasha, the fairy tale, Van Mahaf, <laughs> quite a few other charity shop finds and when I find a manga in a charity shop it's only like a pound or 50p even and so it's quite nice to have. Um, Tokyo Ghoul, I think, was also a charity shop find. Uh, Bat Manga. Uh, the Lychee Light Club, though, um, that's a vertical title, so I probably should put it with my other vertical titles. Um, I only have one other collection, so I put it in here just because it's the same size. See, so, yeah, I do have a lot of Bleach as well. Uh, they were a gift. Someone bought them and then didn't actually want them, so they just gave them to me. And then some of the other Omnibus titles I have. Uh, just the first volume of Full Metal Alchemist, Tsubasa, uh, Kuroko's Basketball, Cross Game, which is absolutely fantastic. I'd love to get the rest of the series. Um, and Skip Beat uh, as well, which I don't have, but I would love to collect. Um, but it is very, very long. Um, I also have some graphic novels um, that I found in a charity shop by Joe Sugg. Uh, he's some British guy who... I don't know, some sort of social media person, but I didn't know who he was. But I saw, saw them and I got them anyway. So yeah, this is the first uh, drawer. Um, it's pretty much um, full of Shona Jump, really, <laughs> mostly. Countdown 7 Days, I've got volumes 2 and 3, and I very much would like to get volume 1. I should have got it and could have picked it up um, for cheap, but I didn't, unfortunately. So, uh, Kara, Kara, eh... Uh, Kemuri is known for some of her other works as well and um, I think some of her works are being published or have been published I'd like to pick them up too. Okay on to uh, the second drawer and this has got a lot of my viz and a few miscellaneous as well. At the back I've got um, some just standard viz titles. I got picked up the sets although they're not complete I need to get volume 8 for Godchild and 7 through 10 for Bloody Mary um, and I might pick up the rest of Black Rose Alice eventually. I also have uh, Loveless up to volume 11. I think that goes up to 14 so I need uh, to collect the other ones. Um, I have that Blue Sky Feeling which is a really great title but it is a Viz title not a Sublime title. Um, um, I do have a Kuma title but this is the only Kuma title I have. Um, Made in Railways as well which was fantastic and I just picked that up this year. The Heart of Thomas, which is obviously massive, <laughs> which I'm, I still will say I managed to get for seven pounds. It's amazing. Um, and then I've got some um, novels uh, from Mariko Hihara, um, one volume of Heartstopper. I've got the rest in digital. And then JL Langley's with uh, caution and without reservations. I'm waiting on the third volume to be published for that and then also to the side I have um, Until the Full Moon which is the boysenberry um, by Sanami Mato which I have in I think it's 
another form as well. And the other Boysenberry BL titles, Delivery Cupid and Pit on Duty. I have a Japanese version of Finder and a Yaoi Press Treasure Volume 2 from Studio Kawaii. Um, <laughs> this is an uh, original English language manga, OEL, which I do not particularly like. I have feelings about. Ignore the dust in the corner. But yeah, this is, this is my sort of viz drawer. So the next drawer is full of um, mostly old Tokyo Pop titles with just a few of their newer ones um, for kind of obvious reasons. I don't particularly like <laughs> supporting. Um, well, I just don't really want to buy <laughs> Tokyo Pop new Tokyo Pop titles. Um, I don't want to support Stu Levy. I'm just saying it. I don't want to. Um, it's a shame because so many of the works I really, really like. So um, anyway, some old titles I got second hand. Um, a lot of clamp ones at the back. The Rig Veda or RG Veda, um, volumes 1 through 10. So that's a complete set. Legal Drug. 1, 2, and 3, but I do not have drag and drop, unfortunately. I have tried. It's a bit more difficult to get hold of. Uh, the Tokyo Pop volumes of Loveless, an extra volume 7 there. I think I have some extra volumes in my other collection as well. And then Tactics, which um, I haven't actually read, and I think I've watched some of the anime. Maybe I've watched it all. Um, but yeah, I wanted to pick it up and do a comparison of the two. As well as Togainu no Chi, which is um, obviously the manga version of a uh, game and also an anime too. And then Vasa Lord volumes one through four, although it's obviously not the complete collection. And then a uh, shit ton of gravitation. This is Maki Murakami's work. So obviously I've got uh, the full set of gravitation in single volumes as well as the omnibus, uh, the one volume of Gravitation X, which was published and the two novels as well. So that's all of Gravitation. I think that's been published. I have the three volumes of Hanger. This is by Hirotaka Kisaragi, who I absolutely love. I think Hirotaka Kisaragi does the most fantastically beautiful drawings. Uh, always very beautiful men and always amazing uh, costumes. The amazing detail that goes into them. Lovely suits, uniforms, that kind of thing. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to if there's going to be a volume four, which annoyingly as it will be, I will buy. Um, next to that is the BL Fans Love My Brother, which is a new pickup for me, uh, Mimu Oyamada. I absolutely loved it because it really does highlight a lot of uh, what life is like for otaku in Japan. So it was very, very nice to read. Um, Star Collector, which I was really happy to finally get a volume two recently. Um, I may have read it by the time this video goes up, who knows, but I really enjoyed Star Collector Volume 1. This is kind of OEL that I like, but maybe because it's not OEL, it's actually OGL, Original German Language uh, Manga, and um, I really, really enjoy Star Collector, it's really nice. Uh, next to that I've got uh, one volume of Devil's Bride, Se Young Kim, a random fruits basket, <laughs> and then what is hopefully going to be the start of my very small collection of Silver Diamond by Shiho Sugiura. Uh, there are only nine volumes published of a 20-something <laughs> massive, massive collection. Um, but I would like to get what is available. Uh, so yeah, this is mostly my old Tokipop uh, collection. There are quite a few other uh, series that I'd like to get, but I'm running out of space already and that's not good. It's not good. So in this drawer I have my Kodansha titles, uh, I am in the process of collecting Hitorijimi My Hero, but it does take me a while. Um, I also need to get uh, the first two volumes of Ten Dance in physical. I then have some Sanami Mato titles, and then the complete set of number six, that's volumes one through nine. Um, the rest of what's in this drawer is Net Comics. It's a publisher that I've kind of not avoided, as you can see, certainly not avoided, but I've been very slow on collecting, so there's probably going to be a bit more difficulty in getting some of the titles. Um, Aegis, um, it's one through six, but there are more titles, or more volumes I should say, available digitally. 
um, then I think I have everything up until Bruderville I need to get um, Volume 3 but that's almost impossible to get and the rest of Prince Barry um, then I've got uh, a complete set of Let Die and then some SM uh, to take an enemy's heart I've only just started picking that up and I still have not yet completed my Sweet Blood collection I do need to pick up the other volumes um, over on the side I have Love Full of Scars and then Merry Family Plan um, and then I've got some Hajim Yu his house I need to get the other two volumes and then some Kyung Ha Yi I need to get the rest of Intense as well so yeah I haven't been focusing on my net comics collecting but I've still managed to as time has gone pick up quite a few of their uh, titles um, but there are um, obviously Dining Bar Akira, um, Age Cold Blue and Merry Family Plan Love Full of Scars. These are Japanese titles um, that Net Comics have picked up. The rest are Korean. So yeah, it's, uh, it's slow and sure for the Net Comics uh, getting there in the end. Now the last drawer for this um, particular chest of drawers has some Yen Press titles in it. Um, my Silver Spoon, which I don't have everything of because I read it in Japanese, I will have to get it in English. Uh, well, I read it up until I could read it and then I haven't read the end yet. So uh, everyone says it's been a good ending. Um, obviously, One Thousand and One Nights I only just recently picked up. Um, Aki's The Angel of Ilhamburg. I love Aki and I need to get uh, the new title that has been illustrated by Aki. Obviously, Renji's Monster and the Beast, I absolutely love. So happy that they've published this um, and I hope that people pick it up so that they can continue to publish it. I want more um, Monster um, <laughs> Monster and the Beast. Um, the Betrayal Knows My Name, I've only got volume one and you need to uh, pick up the rest of that series and I definitely want to. Um, Nabari no O and I have volume one. Caterpillar Girl and Bad Texture Boy, I honestly have not heard anyone else talk about it. And it's an odd one. Um, so yeah, interesting. Nene Ne um, is also a recent um, pickup. And then I've got um, some Lily Hoshino, which was the only BL for a very long time that Yen had actually ever published. Um, and Love Quest and Mr. Flower Bride. I have the rest of the Lily Hoshino titles as well. Um, Mr. Flower Groom in my other collection. And then of course there's Rust Buster, which is Yano Toboso's Yen Press title, which I enjoy a lot as well. So yeah, this is what I have for Yen Press in my collection here. So in this drawer I have my Seven Seas manga and I have my Blue manga. Blue obviously being the BL imprint for the defunct old Tokyo Pop. Um, <laughs> not to be confused with the new Tokyo Pop. Um, so yeah, in here I have um, just a, a, a small number of my Seven Seas. I don't have everything and I do need to pick up a lot more Seven Seas, I think. Um, so yeah, I only have one volume of the Nagata Kabi's work. Um, it seems like it might make me feel sad <laughs> or concerned. So I haven't made it a priority. I do hope more people are buying Michi Ichiho's Yes, No or Maybe. This is um, like the first BL novel we've had uh, because up to this point we've all called them yaoi novels so this is technically like the first bl novel we've had published in english and there is a lot more to their story and i would like to read the rest of their story so if you are interested um go ahead and get a copy and show it some love so that maybe we'll get the rest of it um i would very much like to be able to read the rest of their story in English and it's such good quality such a very nice product I really really am pleased with the um, everything the formatting especially it's weird to say that but I love the formatting of it um, I do need to now pick up the rest of BL Metamorphosis because I really enjoy volume 3 um, everything there I need to pick up the rest of Classmates I'm finding it really difficult to get hold of 1 and 3 there's been a couple of times when I've gone oh I, I should get that and um, I just have it picked it up and then when I went to go get it the second time it's been gone so yes with everything being really difficult to get hold of you really do need to pick it up when you can 
Um, obviously, go for it, Nakamura. I think is everyone's favourite. <laughs> I love that work so much. I've read it loads. Um, and I've also read The High School Life of Danshi a few times. It's really good. It's a bit like um, uh, BL fans uh, liking the brother of that Tokyo Pop title that I just showed. Um, very similar in the otaku, um, male otaku, but in the, the fu uh, space. Uh, then I've got some Junjiro Manchika uh, DVDs there, just as a stopper. And then I've got the rest of my blue collection. I've managed to pick up quite a, loo a lot of the blue titles. I think I only have two volumes um, before it's a complete set, so I'm really, really happy. Uh, managed to get everything. Um, the ones at the back are more of the newer ones that I picked up, like Gaku in Heaven, Full Set, I've Been Love, You Will Fall in Love, Hinako Takanaga. I need to get You Will Drown in Love, Volume 1, um, and that's one of the titles. Voice or Noise, Cute Devil. Cute Devil is so good! Hiro Madarame is so good. If we could get some more of her work, I'd be so, so happy. Um, and also, um, Mamahara Ellie's Baseball Heaven. I love Mamahara Ellie, so Baseball Heaven's a really good one. The rest of the ones that I've got, I'm really quite happy with. I haven't read them all, uh, but I've been picking them up as and when I could. Um, there's been <laughs> quite a few that I've been able to get um, for a really good price over the years, so... Um, yeah, I'm very happy with all of the blue titles that I've got here in the drawer. But as you can see, it is starting to fill up. It's just as well I've only got two more. And I think there's space. I could fit them in. Um, but yeah. The one that I would uh, point out is a bit odd is Love Hurts. Um, Aishi... Aishiateru Futari? Is that how you say it? Aishiate... Mm, yeah, uh, Suzuki Tanaka's. It's it put down in the blue uh, imprint, but I wouldn't really necessarily call it BL, just in case you're wondering. Um, but yeah, there's some um, good ones in here. My old fave, Janja Romanchka. I do have more of. I feel I have the full complete set. Um, these are just extras that I picked up in a bulk um, purchase. So um, the rest of the blue titles, other than those two that I need, I think the other one is. Blood Honey Plus, uh, those are the two that I need to get for a complete blue collection, so I'm um, very happy with my uh, everything I have in this drawer, makes me happy. So in this drawer I have my Dear collection and my Doki Doki collection and my Vertical collection. Um, we can start with Vertical because that's just one title. What did you eat yesterday? As I mentioned I already have Light Chi Light Club, which is in my the first drawer I showed. Um, and here I have volumes 1 through to 13, volume 14, and I think volume 15 might be out now. I think they're planning on having 16 either the end of 2021 or 2022. Um, so I do need to now pick up volume 14 and 15. But because Vertical has been taken over by Kodacha, I don't feel quite so much um, rush or hurry to pick these titles up. <laughs> with the fear of them going out of print. As you can see, I have two shiny new volume nines there, and don't they look lovely? <laughs> um, I also have two volume ones and two volume fours, so I can get rid of my extras and then uh, replace them with the next one in the series. I'm very happy. I've read a few of these, um, but uh, I would like to sit down and read all of them all the way through at some point. Um, it's a really lovely story. So over uh, to the left, I have the Doki Doki. Um, there are a few Doki Doki titles that I don't have, but I'm quite happy with what I've got. Um, more Makoto Tatano. <laughs> this one is kind of an odd like shoujo slash BL. Kind of, I still haven't read it. I showed it last year, I still haven't read it. <laughs> and then of course, uh, How to Capture a Martini. And how to control a sidecar, which I can't say I'm a huge fan of, but there you go. I haven't read A Bloody Kiss tonight yet, but I'm uh, looking forward to it. Maybe I'll save it for um, a Halloween read or something. Maybe a manga freak one. Train Train is next for Eki Eki, which I have not read. And Colour, which is Eki Eki and Taishizao, um, which I was able to get last year. Very, very happy about. The only one here that I haven't got complete is Millennium Prime Minister. I need to get volume one. Um, 
yeah, I need to pick that one up. <laughs> it's not actually a BL title, I think it's supposed to be a more of a shoujo title. So I wondered why it was in the Doki Doki um, imprint, but apparently there is. Anyway, maybe because it's AKB. Next to that is some Taishi Zao uh, illustrated Yaoi novels, so Green Light and Fevered Kissed. I think I have some more uh, elsewhere as well. Um, next to that is Double Cast. And oh my god, I love Double Cast. Probably because it's Mamahara Ellie, and I love Mamahara Ellie, and I need more Mamahara Ellie in my life. Where is any of her new titles? Any of her old titles? Is any of her titles? Yes, there's a bit of same faciness, and yes, she has a sort of holic, Watanuki esque <laughs> um, dimensions to her characters. I don't care. I don't care. I love her. And I love Double Cast. I could read that and reread it. That's great. Uh, Otodama, I recently read. Yokonita, I do have volume two. It's in my other collection. And then The Devil Inside and Midnight Bloom. Um, I don't think I have great things to say about either of those. The one next to it, though, Cool and Cool, is uh, illustrated by Kai Asol. And I only ever have good things to say about Kai Asol. I want more. She did, and I mentioned this probably last year as well, she did an amazing um, self-published doujinshi series and I want that um, published in English. It's beautiful. It's such a great story. Um, I really want it. <laughs> I want it as an actual punk bond. And then next to it is another one that I was really happy to get, Boys Love, uh, Kai and Tachibana. When it comes to Doki Doki titles, I think I have uh, Electric Hands, which I think is another Eiki Eiki or Taishi Zao. I work, uh, obviously Millennium Prime Minister, and I Want to Bite, which is another Yaoi novel, which is going for extortionate price. So there's a, a couple more still to get for Doki Doki. And then there's some that are definitely shoujo and not BL at all. So I'm like, why? Why did you do that? DMP, why don't you just, you know, publish it as DMP? Because it's not really appropriate for Doki Doki. I don't really understand what Doki Doki is about. So, uh, when it comes to my due titles, um, I'm quite happy with what I've got. Um, I have a few more in my other collection, but not that many. Due did not publish too many. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm almost complete on my due collection as well. As you can see at the end of this line, um, there's Mr. and Mistress, Volume 1. So Volume 2 is what I need to collect, and it's very difficult and expensive, so... Fingers crossed, I get that at some point. I'll probably end up in a bidding war with someone. Um, <laughs> and just have to like let it go. Um, the other one is Kiss All the Boys. That's a Shiyoko Kano title. I have volume one, which I got for like I, something like five pounds maybe. Um, and because I got it for such a cheap price, I don't want to go over the top and spend 65 pounds on getting volume two and three. Um, so I don't want to over... Uh, spend on those. So I only have three more volumes to get for due titles and then I will have a complete due title collection. So I'm very happy with what I've got. Um, I do have some extra I Shall Never Returns and my STEMs, uh, the Kano Miyamoto which I don't particularly like too much Kano Miyamoto. Uh, future Lovers I absolutely love. Uh, you can get them digitally. There's a few of these that you can get digitally on the Sublime Manga website. So once again, check them out if you um, oh, see these and think, oh, some of them look interesting, <laughs> maybe you can get them uh, over there. There were a few that were difficult to get hold of. Spring Fever was a bit expensive, Chocolate Surprise. Um, but some of them uh, are kind of easy to get and it just depends. Tough Love Baby, as you can see, I have two volumes and uh, I've seen the, that go for just a couple of pounds. So yeah, you can definitely get a few due titles for cheap. If you're interested in checking some of them out. Um, very happy with what I've got, just a little bit more to go. In this bottom drawer I have uh, my drama queen titles, um, or most of them anyway, because there's not a huge number of drama queen titles. Uh, the ones that I'm really happy about is of course the full uh, set of Challengers, volumes 1 through 4, um, but there's also a few others that are um, not too bad. Uh, I'm happy to have some Masara Minase, as usual. Uh, she's hugely prolific and we don't have very many of her titles in English. Um, 
<clears throat> there are a few I think that I don't have um, uh, the one that you, you can see last portrait by Akira Honma Akira Honma also has another drama queen title called The Judged um, which is very expensive and difficult to get hold of so that's on my I would like to get it if I possibly can uh, but will probably be difficult to get so yeah um, I think there's also another one which is a, a Korean title uh, the summit I think that's also a bit tricky to get hold of usually quite expensive as well so I think there's only two maybe titles and also of course the one on the end there that's rush volume or issue zero zero there is a rush volume zero one which I have seen in the past sell for incredibly cheap like two three pounds and I was like ugh <laughs> OEL stuff, no thanks. And it's definitely OEL stuff, like an original English language. So I'm not really a huge fan of it. So I'm not bothered about it other than for my completionist uh, tendencies, which is annoying because I have them. Um, also, I have um, my One Piece books there. I Hear the Sunspot. I do have Limit Volume 2, uh, but it's in my other collection. Uh, the big pile on the side there, I've got a How to Draw... Um, manga and then a Yokanita art book and then underneath I've got the Wandering Sun uh, by Fantagraphics so I've got the complete set and a couple of extras as well which I picked up before I got the complete set um, in the back there I also have the Be Beautiful um, Be Beautiful didn't actually publish a huge number of titles so I have I think everything by Be Beautiful including Finder 1, 2 and 3 I'm really so happy that I managed to get that um, and the ones that I'm working on once again are the end of the the uh, sets that's Embracing Love and also Kizuna Bonds of Love so Embracing Love there are five volumes published so I need two, three and five and Kizuna there are eight volumes published and for some reason I've got two, four and six <laughs> so I need all the odds and eight uh, for a complete set which is going to be tricky it's going to take a wee bit of time to eventually get them sometimes you see them and over the years I've seen them go for really cheap prices and I've not picked them up and now I'm kind of going ah oh, damn should have got them but yeah so that's the only Be Beautiful that I'm working on everything else I think I have um, so yeah uh, this is the the bottom drawer here so in this drawer we have um, Kitty Media and we have 801. These are uh, two different BL imprints um, that I've been collecting and I'm also really close to completing uh, for both of these. Um, but will I actually get them complete? <laughs> it's another, another matter altogether. Um, at the back is the 801. You can see I've got a couple that I have like two copies of. So the Prime Minister's Secret Diplomacy by Yokonita, Meeting You, The Sky Over My Spectacles, <laughs> uh, Maniac Shorts, a Short a Shot, um, uh, The Desert Prince. I actually have four copies of The Desert Prince. I keep telling people, Shu 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 Sakurai. I have no idea why <laughs> I have four, co four, four copies of. Um, yeah, so I have quite a lot. Um, of duplicates and that's because I sometimes buy things accidentally like a Fallen States Kiss I just was like oh, oh my god and I bought it twice um, but also sometimes it does come in a, a set or a job lot or something like that and I end up with more copies um, so I will have to sell them off at some point <laughs> I don't know um, when that will be uh, when I actually have them on shelves probably so yeah, I do have quite a lot. Um, there's old ones like Shioko Kano's work, uh, some old Yokonita, Mio Tenoji, uh, Toko Kawaii. Um, the Takashi Kanzaki works, I'm not really a huge fan of Takashi Kanzaki, but I'm happy to have them. Uh, Yo Higashino is odd and strange and fun, but I just, yeah. Um, Black Sun, I absolutely love. <laughs> love Black Sun. And on bended knee, uh, Rudy... Fujikawa has an odd sense of humour which I really really take to. On the end I have the Underground Hotel Volumes 1 and 2 which are always strange because they're so small and thick. <laughs> Short and thick. Um, which I've not read because I know it's going to kill me to read them. Like sort of banana fish type uh, scenario. Um, and then at the end I have the two that I don't have a complete for. So I only need to get 
to have a complete eight to one set, uh, volume six of Ze, and volume one of Love Is Like a Hurricane. I have seen Love Is Like a Hurricane go down to um, maybe around twenty eight or twenty nine pounds. I think that was the cheapest. And Ze, I think the cheapest I've seen it is like one hundred and sixty pounds, and that didn't include shipping. So yeah, it's tricky to get the rest of the 801s but um, I always think that and you never know you never know fingers crossed um, then I've got in front of me Kitty Media which are kind of a strange mishmash of uh, titles that a lot have been picked up and um, made digitally available on Sublime's website so if you see any of them here and you would like to read them go over and check uh, on the Sublime website and you might be able to get them for a lot cheaper than trying to hunt around and find them um, in print. Um, the only one I am missing is Incubus Volume 3 and part of me wasn't ever going to plan to pick it up because it is, as I mentioned before, an OEL, Original English Language Manga and I'm not a huge fan of OELs. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I just have volume three to get, which is very difficult to get hold of and very expensive. Um, the rest of the titles I quite enjoyed. Another Yo Higashino one, Gaze Anatomy, kind of just screams at you. Um, there is a digital copy of the uh, prequel, I think, and I read that last year or 2019, I think I read it. Um, so yeah, there's a good little collection. Some of these I've read and some of them I haven't, and I still need to get around to reading. Um, obviously Yokai's Hunger, Now No Bora is one I have read um, and I am kind of like looking forward to reading some of these but some of them I haven't got round to yet um, and I do have the rest of the Serial University series, there's four in that one um, but it's in my other collection but yeah, very happy that in this drawer I only need three volumes for there to be two complete series Two complete publishers so um wish me luck <laughs> so this is my first um sublime manga drawer i have two of them i'll show the next one next <laughs> and i've very sensibly organized this in alphabetical order it is probably um the most organized collection i have um i just i like the way the spines look i know some people find it repetitive but I quite like it. It makes it easy for me to know um, what it is. It's easy to see. I actually like how regimented it is. It appeals to I know, something within me, an OCD-ness, which I have, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy with what I've got. The full set of A Strange and Mystifying Story, Awkward Silence, um, Blue Morning, full set. I absolutely love that series and I really need to do a standalone review of it because it's so chuffing awesome it's just so good so i need to promote it a bit more um then i've got some yaya sakuragi uh, some people don't like bond of dreams bond of love i love it it's so cute um candy color paradox number five uh, i think is just come out maybe it's just come out in america uh, maybe it's out by the time this video goes up um it's one that i am looking forward to getting Cast Heaven, I only have the first two volumes and I need to get the rest to, to five, maybe even six by the time this comes out. Uh, Coyote as well, I need to get volume three. Crimson Spell, I have three, four and six there, but the rest of that unfortunately is in my other collection. Uh, so I do need to um, bring the full collection together at some point. <laughs> Reunite them. Um, then I have Don't Be Cruel, but just from volume five, through to volume 8. I now need to get uh, volume 9 and then the plus plus 2. Um, I have the rest of that um, in my other collection um, and I would like to be able to sit and read it because I absolutely love Maya. Um, <sighs> there's a lot of hotties in this drawer, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of very very attractive characters in this drawer and Maya Mm. Chef's Kiss Sensei. I have the full body pillow, <laughs> which as a grown ass woman, I am just gonna say yes, yes I do. I also have the little uh, Kuma Mate 
there you can see there that's um, Maya's uh, waiting staff uniform and uh, yeah Maya Maya's a special one <laughs> he's a good looking lad um, after don't be cruel um, I have embracing love uh, three and four and five and six I have the one and two in my other collection escape journey which is a lovely series um, heartbreaking and uplifting and a family and ugh, smexy times. It's got everything really, Escape Journey. And I love the luminous um, colours actually, it really makes it pop on um, in the lineup. Then I've got Finder. Here you can see volume 2 through to volume 9, missing 1 and 8. I need to get volume 10, 1 and 8 is in my other collection. Um, Ayano Yamane knows how to draw some sexy men and I ugh, I just yeah there's something about there is it's just something about um, her characters uh, I might have a type <laughs> I might have a type <laughs> but yeah I really enjoy Finder Finder sells so well it's an easy one to go to and and it doesn't matter which volume I read I pick up the story and, and it's the same story told over and over again and I love it I just I, I enjoy it so much uh, the one next to it fourth generation head um, Tatsuyuki Oyamato uh, Scarlet Berko draws so well but this one ah, it, it I really did not enjoy and I knew I wasn't going to enjoy it um, I enjoyed parts of it I did not enjoy it at all I'm not really I think it showed too much of the real Yakuza um, rather than the um, fluffy, sort of sanitised BL version we, we generally tend to get. So yeah, I don't like My Heart Hurt and I like Happily Ever Afters. So yeah, uh, next to that is only one volume of Given. I will hopefully be getting more of it, picking it up and I think I've ordered one. So maybe there'll be uh, some more Given to add to this. Um, little collection. Hide and Seek is the other Yaya Sakuragi title that most people prefer over Bond of Dreams, Bond of Love. I like them equally um, but I did enjoy reading Hide and Seek um, as and when it came out in the uh, CL Tray Tray um, monthly or bi-monthly uh, manga magazines. So I think there was a bit of doctrine going on between the first volume and by the end of the second volume there was a change in the law I probably mentioned this already uh, about what you could show and what you could show and I think Sensei did a very good job of tastefully uh, censoring herself in a way that made it just uh, easy to read and yet um, kept her covered um, at the end there is his favorite I do have the full set other than volume 11 I need to pick up I'm very behind in my sublime titles I do need to start picking up the ones that have um, been printed. I think up to this point I have, other than Yarichin Bitch Club, um, I think I have uh, everything that was published up to maybe May last year, May 2020. So I, I'm behind in a few things. So this is my second Sublime drawer and as you can see it's the emptiest, it's probably the emptiest drawer I have and that's because I'm keeping space for the other sublime titles that I don't have. Um, in this drawer I go from J, um, as I said it's alphabetical. Uh, I do have two copies of Jackass. <laughs> I now have two copies of a couple of things actually. Knights as well but that's in my other collection. Um, I picked up Jealousy recently so I need to get the rest of that. Um, I've got Love and Limbo, Love Stage, Midnight Stranger, Punch Up, as you can see, I've got two, three, four, and five. I do have volume one in both my uh, other collection and digitally. I need to get volume six for uh, the new one. Um, I think I also have to get the new World's Greatest First Love. Uh, therapy game. I didn't pick up volume two because of the publishing issue, but it should be fine now. And I'm hopefully going to get the volume two. And Yari Team Bridge Club, as I mentioned before, really difficult to get hold of volume one um, anywhere, <laughs> honestly. And um, I'm going to have to pick up volume three. And pretty much from volume three onwards, last May or June, there's um, 
so 2020 halfway through 2020 is pretty much where i need to continue to um collect from so i've almost been um kind of avoiding picking up sublime titles for about a year uh, i'll get the odd one here and there but i do need to uh, pick up so i'm about a year behind which is not bad um i don't want to uh, push myself to get them all but i will uh, look out for a good price when i can uh, find them so yeah that's the thing with the price going up as well i had to tax and all that kind of stuff and and even just making it really difficult to buy some so yeah i'm very happy with the collection i've got i've got a few in my other collection obviously but um yeah it's not a complete sublime print collection but um i'm not that far behind so I'm very happy with what I've got. So this is the first drawer where I have my June manga titles and I have my drawers, so there's three of them, arranged in a kind of an odd system with larger um, uh, trim size at the back and the smaller trim size at the front and that's just because I can actually fit them in that way. It's harder to put uh, the larger trim size uh, stacked one with the other, just there's a uh, space constraints so I've done it this way um, and I've also re rearranged it and arranged it and I keep I keep trying to put it in some sort of semblance of order and it doesn't really seem to be maybe this is fine um, what I've done is put a lot of the titles that I've read um, or read fairly recently in this top drawer or that I was planning on reading recently so everything on the left hand side at the back are ones that I've read and read quite recently and everything down the front from A Century of Temptation all the way through to Close the Last Door Volume 2 I have read fairly recently and then the ones on the back on the right are ones that I think I've read <laughs> but can't quite remember uh, what they were about so I just put them there so I might have to do rereads of these um, so yeah there's quite a mix and a mishmash but as you can see the majority of them are uh, single volumes, they're not part of a series. So that's the other way I've rearranged um, my drawers. Except with, of course, a uh, finder at the front here with volumes 1 through 7 in the June manga imprint. So a lot of the ones in this drawer are ones that I really love because they're fairly new um, buys and that I've wanted to get for a long time. Um, or that I was really happy to get. Obviously, uh, Close the Last Door, I was very excited about. Twittering Birds Never Fly, Volume 4, yay! <laughs> so happy to get. Um, no One Loves Me, obviously, it's a Yugi Yamada title, which is along with the Open the Door to Your Heart, next to Century of Temptation. Um, these ones I absolutely love having. Only Series About You, I love and I have two volumes of, <laughs> I've read them both, and uh, Flutter is a Momoko Tenzin. I actually want, want to read that again. I remember really, really loving it. So there's a few in here that I really, really love. Uh, obviously some more um, Lily Hoshino at the back there, Alone in My King's Harem, which is just always nonsense um, and fun, <laughs> as well as My Only King. She's just got loads of nonsense. The Hyota of Fujiyama, Pure Heart, Volume 1, we never got uh, the rest of that series. And the rest of that series is pretty long, actually, so... Um, a lot of the Jun manga titles, I sometimes see and think, Oh, that's a shame. We don't have the rest of it. Or, there's not a complete set. Or, even if it has been completely printed, me getting the rest of it might be more <laughs> difficult. But... Um, I think there's only a few series that I'm missing titles from now, so um, I'm quite happy with a lot of what's in this drawer, uh, either because I've read them or because they are as complete as they're going to be. So this is the second June manga drawer that I have, um, and in this one I have once again the larger trim at the back and the smaller trim at the front. Um, the smaller trim ones are ones that I have recently purchased or ones that um, I needed to get the rest of. So uh, Mummy a Dollhouse, Teach Me Tutor, uh, they are fairly new, as is the Right Here Right Now, uh, My Bad, 
still things that I've picked up in the last year maybe. Um, I do have the third volume of I've Seen It All by Shoko Takaku, um, but I have it in my other collection. So, um, same difference is one that we only got the first volume of. It's much longer in Japan, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, so these are ones that I don't think I've read or I haven't read in a very, very long time. Um, and for some reason they're in this drawer. <laughs> At the back though it's easier to more more sort of logical that i've organized it in the way that it is in the back here you've got yellow omnibus volumes one and two uh, with makoto tatano i have lots of makoto tatano um i do have the complete blue sheep reverie in terms of what was published i have volume one it's in my other collection i think there was nine volumes of the series and june manga decided nah we're just going to stop at six. So I have what's available. I have Little Butterfly Omnibus and I have the rest of, I actually have the full Little Butterfly set in my other collection as well. Uh, Flower of Life, I have volumes one, two and three. Volume four, I will never get. I'm okay, I've made peace with myself. <laughs> uh, Kabuki, I have volume two and three. I have the rest of the set somewhere else. Uh, La Esperanza. La Esperanca, I don't know how to uh, say that, but it's seven volumes to that series. I have the full seven volumes in my other collection. Il Gato Silji, uh, this is the third volume. I have the full set, I think, or maybe just the first and the second volumes in my other collection. And um, Great Place High School, this is just volumes one and two. The rest of it is in my other collection. So that's why a lot of uh, these, you might have noticed, are parts of collections and the other half of the collection or the other half of the series is in my other collection uh, which i keep elsewhere um kurashina sensei's passion is one that i do not have the rest of that's one that i um will need to try and collect volumes two and three but also once again there's like five volumes in japanese and they weren't all published so i feel less inclined to go out my way to spend a lot of money on something where I normally get in half the story anyway, so mm. say lovey. <laughs> the Moon and the Sandals, I have the full set. Steel Moon, I have it, and now I have um, a Crazy Star and Shiny Moon. That's part of um, a set as well, the four volume series. Clan of the Nakigamis, that's volume two. Um, I have volume one in my other collection. Gorgeous Karat Galaxy, that was a new purchase. Five pounds, I got it from Amazon a while ago, and that kind of goes with the blue title, um, Gorgeous Karat. That was a four volume series. And then I've got, uh, the rest of the drawer is one shots. Um, Golden Prince and Argent King is <laughs> the same as in the first drawer. I have two copies of that. Um, but yeah, there's a few that were difficult to get. For some reason, Lover's Pledge and Tricky Prince, um, were difficult to buy actually so they were a bit tricky cut as well seems to go for a lot more than um i think i got it for a good price though so yeah if you're after these titles and you see them for a good price you might want to snap them up because um i think it's just going to get harder and harder as time goes on but yeah um some good titles in here and ones that i i'm looking forward to reading i just need to sit down and actually do it so yeah there's a lot in here this is the uh, third and final Jin Manga um, drawer and in it I have sets and most of them are complete or almost complete sets. So um, Strange and Mystifying Story, just the first three volumes that Jin Manga published are Everlasting, Selfish Mr. Mermaid, A Gentleman's Kiss, Love Holic, Love Control, Love Recipe, Ludwig that I managed to get uh, last year. Um, Our Kingdom and The Arabian Nights, which I was able to get last year. Antique Bakery, finally managed to get the fourth volume. That was really great. So happy about it. And Clear Skies Volumes 1 and 2. If you manage to see them, guys, just give it a wee read. You might like it, you might not. As I've said before, I really like their work and they are publishing more in Japan at the moment. Um, <laughs> we're never going to get it. I'm going to have to get it in Japanese and translate it. Um, on the front, I have the smaller trim size and annoyingly, 
<laughs> my Kazuna minus volume 3. I think everyone has issues trying to find volume 3. The times when I've seen volume 3 go for about like 20 odd quid and now I'm thinking actually that'd be fine. Give it to me. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. I can't find it anywhere. I need it to complete the Kazuna set. Um, Kizuna. Uh, Border, I've got a volume 3. I think I've already got vo Border 3 in my other collection. Um, Treasure, um, some Tyrant volumes. Obviously 10 and 11, they're the ones that um, I've got while I've been in here with this collection. The rest of that series is in my other collection. And then in the front, I have my Yaoi novel collection that was published by June Manga. Um, it's not complete, there's some in my other collection, um, but there's a few there that I'm quite happy with. I think the there's three, three that I don't have. Obviously, you can see um, Cage Slave, Lonely Egotist. Oh, I am so happy to have that. That is like, oh, like so expensive, but also <laughs> so happy. It made me so happy to have it. I know Kasabi is right there, and there are four volumes that I don't have, um, which I had to try to get with the Kickstarter. But the less said about that, the better. Let's let's keep it on a positive note. Um, Love Water was difficult to get a hold of. The other one there is Only the Ring Finger Knows. I am missing, like everyone else, volume four. Um, so yeah, I know Kasabi, Only the Ring Finger Knows. The rest of them, all the way to The Guilty, Original Sin Volume 2. I have Volumes 1, 2 and 4. Volume 3, the one that everyone has issues trying to get. That's the one I'm missing. Um, and the one that's the other one that I'm missing, which um, is obviously not here, I have Volume 2 of All You Need Is Love. And um, that Volume 1 is missing, so I have Volume 2. So yeah, there is four volumes of I Know Kasabi 1, Only the Ring from Your Nose 1, The Guilty and one for all you need is love. So still a few to try and see if I can get, um, but without overpaying massively, which is a shame. It's probably gonna have to happen if I want to have a complete collection. Anyway, so this is everything from my um, manga collection for 2021 that's available in this collection in my drawers. As I've mentioned, I do have uh, another collection and if you are interested in what uh, I have in that collection, maybe check out my um, Behind Closed Drawers video series from last year where I do show some uh, images of that um, and you can find out what other titles I have. Uh, so yeah, this is my complete collection at the moment. There are obviously a few titles that I'm still on the lookout for and I would like and um, not fully completed my out of print stuff. Um, there is a lot of new stuff being published and I'm really looking forward to picking them up as and when I can and when I can get them for a good bargain, which is becoming um, less and less common now, unfortunately. So yeah, uh, hopefully uh, there'll be a few more out of print volumes added and I can tick them off. I'm really proud of the collection that I have here. I'm really proud of um, just slowly plugging away and spending time searching for volumes and trying to find them and um, yeah putting a little bit of effort in to get this collection to the point where it's at and it is a collection and the reading and the collecting is two separate things for me so I'm very happy with my collection and I'm really happy with uh, the direction it's going in so um, if you like this, give a thumbs up, uh, consider subscribing, I make videos about um, BL, Yaoi, male male romance, um, and all that good stuff. Uh, so uh, consider subscribing <laughs> if you want, if you want. Um, if you uh, have any questions or comments about this collection or any of the volumes that I've shown today, um, please do leave a comment, I really like it when people comment on my videos so uh, thanks for sticking to this uh to the end of this video it's probably gonna be quite long um and uh take care everyone i'll see you in the next time bye